one of the powerful things that we have here is being able to automate a lot of our processes and these can be built for you. So seems like it's a lot of work, but again, Nextiva has tremendous support and teams to help you maximize all of your communications platform. And so one of the things that we can do is actually automate certain processes. After sales are done, sometimes people drop off in terms of support, what we can help you build is actually something where we have processes in place. So as soon as the sale is done, we can go up to here into macros, as an example, and create some type of automation, whether they go to billing or they might get a survey sent off to them right away, thanking them for the sale, so on and so forth. Really, the point is to make sure things are done in a timely manner and at key touch points to ensure customer success as well as positive experience. So as an example, let's say Hawk Financial just closed. It could be something where we automate the case to be automatically created for further assistance. And then in this case, using those macros that we talked about, we can see as soon as something is closed, we have a level one support, the status is open because it just closed, and then we have certain departments and even a person maybe that's assigned to this particular case to make sure that they're following up. And again, that's the benefit of having these macros in place that if for some reason it's not automated and you did it manually and a person wasn't sure what to do post-sale, you could have something up here that maybe even said post-sale and then you'd be able to follow a certain cadence and have workflows automatically built in based on how you've set up those macros. Again, in here, same thing, we can send out you know, emails if you want to do something manual or let's say we're sending a survey, so on and so forth. Again, all this stuff can either be automatically built in or if you're a rep that likes to do things manually or a team that likes to do things manually, put more of a personal touch in there or a sign on the go depending on who's available, like maybe everything doesn't just flow to Gary here, maybe you just pick whatever rep is available, you're able to do that. Point is, post-sale or during any process that you have, we have workflows that can either be automated or that you can easily figure out how and where those get handled. So since I've mentioned surveys about six times in this demo, I am going to show you surveys in just a moment. But one thing I, that I did want to point out is that regarding our cases, there's a really cool way for us to be able to manage your cases or even create cases automatically, which we actually do at Nextiva. So say you have a, a support at nextiva.com. Obviously, you wouldn't use that because that's Nextiva, but your company. So if you have a support email, one of the things that's powerful here is something called our inbox. And what our inbox does is basically can tie to any email domain uh, that you choose and we can sync up. What happens is as emails come in, they can automatically be created in terms of cases. And so you can either just respond to them right away. Of course, you can do things like surveys, which again, I'm going to show you. But you can also automatically create cases as they come in. So in this case, um, I've got my inbox. I see that there's two emails that have come in and then in terms of a case view, I see that these cases have been created for me and then I can take action on them very quickly. So moving into the case itself, again, I've showed you a bunch of different actions that you can do in here, information about the uh, company itself. I want to show you the survey tool. And to me, surveys are imperative for customer experience. The voice of the customer is super powerful, but it's more powerful when you send it out at key touch points, meaning if somebody is asked a month after they've had a demo, they're going to give you very different answers than if you send it out maybe even an hour after you've had the demo. And so with our survey tool, not only can you automate them, but it also allows the customer to speak candidly because some of these things can be done um, uh, anonymously as well. And so if you really want to know what your customers really think about you and your processes, send surveys. That will give you a very honest answer 
uh, versus you just trying to guess at you know how your customers really feel about you. So this is just a list of all of my surveys that I've created. Of course, we can obviously go in here, change any of them around, and uh, choose which ones we want to send out. Creating a survey, super easy. If I go up to this right-hand side and I click on this green square, create survey, I can see, number one, I've got a few templates that I can go into, so things like uh, NPS surveys, which kind of gives you just sort of a, a temperature check, like scale of 1 to 10, how are we doing, uh, versus uh, more maybe in-depth uh, um, surveys that you can build. And so if you're building one from scratch, pretty simple to do. Um, you can put in any kind of text that you want. Obviously, if you want to personalize it, putting like first and last name in, things like that. Um, you're able to do it. You're able to choose different kinds of questions like multiple choice, uh, scales like, hey, from scale from 1 to 10, what do you think? Uh, versus um, like choices, options 1 to 2. I kind of like this one where um, you can have images like, do you like this code or this code? Which do you, what do you think? Um, so all these things can basically be customized in here. Um, once your survey is set up, we also have something in here where you can create all kinds of rules based on uh, what's happening in your survey. So uh, one thing that I do like is this uh, post logic survey um, and uh, you know, skip logic. What skip logic does is it allows your customers to go to relevant parts of the survey based on their answer. And so as an example, you could set a rule that says, uh, how did we do scale one to five? You could say anything that is three and below goes to a question that says, tell us more. What happened? How can we improve? Versus if you get a four or five, it might take you to a link to the website that says, hey, did you hear about these other services you can buy since you're so happy, right? M meaning you don't want to send someone that gave you a two to a question that says, would you like to buy something else? So really what we're trying to do is not only hone down and figure out what's happening based on these answers, but we're also trying to cater it to the person that is interacting with it so that you can show that you do care, right? And so that can be used or based on, let's say, option one, option two. So if this is like hot dogs or hamburgers and someone chooses hamburgers, then they only get a line of questioning based on hamburgers versus any hot dog questions. So surveys, again, are super customizable, really imperative, in my opinion, to enhancing the customer experience definitely part of the next Eagle platform to enhance on that customer experience. And then closing out, here's analytics again, but definitely on the CRM side, so all things like cases. So you saw analytics based on call volume. We obviously want to also have analytics based on our productivity tools. And so this is an example of our service CRM. So in this case, we want to look at things like how many cases we have open, how many are in progress. Of course, it's going to look very similar to you know, some of the graph charts that you saw in terms of time to resolve, things like that. And one of the things that I find really cool here is a lot of people's analytics tools are simply just graphs, and then that's it. But we generally get asked questions like, can you drill down? And the answer is yes in this case. And so if I said, look, we've got a lot of cases open here, let me drill down into this, and I actually want to see by user what's happening. And so very quickly, if I drill down into that particular metric, I can see, hey, out of all the cases that are open, I can see Gary has a couple, Dorian has 12, Lily has two, so on and so forth, meaning now I can really see, hey, out of the open cases, it looks like Dorian's being overworked here, and maybe Anastasia doesn't have as many open, so what I might do is reassign some of these cases. Um, very easy just to reassign them, or if you want to export any data, naturally you can do that in any number of different uh, formats. And so analytics, again, is going to be really key for us. We really strive to not only give you that information, but give you tools to be able to use that information. And so in closing, 
Nextiva, again, is a unified communications platform, but we're more than that. So everything from voice to video, CRM and surveys with analytics, uh, we try to drive productivity using the entire NextOS platform as a whole to, again, centralize all of your communications.